All right. So there's a setup page, and that is basically for your mask and the cache for what you want to control. And then this is for the mask. And then you got feedback controls. This is like the start of everything I built off. So I got here, and then I started experimenting. And um, my $5 membership will unlock this component, everything in it, and what I, my future experiments and whatever we come up with together. So let's see what I've actually packaged here. So this is what we made. You should be able to recognize it. Um, you got your insert. Uh, I've got, when you change resolutions into a feedback, it holds, since it's always holding the last thing, um, you'll see some weird behavior. So I always attach um, a keyboard in and pulse all the feedbacks in my whole network or project just as a, you can do that as a creative thing or, a, but I use it more for troubleshooting as you're switching different sources and stuff. If you don't have everything unified before it goes into this, you might see some of that. So that's why we've got, um, yeah, this all looks the same. Oh, until we get here. So at this point, I've got a fit and a resolution and an analyze top, which I just started playing with this year. Um, what I'm doing is squashing the resolution down to 40 by 22 pixels. I've got an info chop grabbing resolution X, resolution Y, multiplying them together, and that's the total pixels of this um, this top that we're analyzing. And then from that, we're getting the sum. So the total number of pixels that are present in the image, you can see, you know, out of all these, you know, there's a 880 total. And you can see sometimes it is getting up to 700 or 800 when I move my hand in front of the camera. Um, so top to chop and just getting that as a numerical value. And then I've got a logic, which is taking that 880 and multiplying it by 0.9. So I'm basically looking for anything the la the top, anytime it goes over the last 10% of the total value of pixels. And then I've got a lag to smooth that out. And then that is going into a switch, which is our feedback. And then as we get uh, a total, total change, it'll, it'll pulse the feedback as well. Um, it's kind of a creative thing and also just a way of addressing hard cuts so they don't instantly blow out. I mean, they still kind of will, but it'll like fade into the image before it reveals the the feedback again. That is that, and then this one is the same same as our starting one, except it is built off of displace. Okay, this one has a displace. So the the image has a just some warble to it because these values are super minimum now here now i'm using this is what i just showed you here's this logic i'm actually looking anything 20 percent more than a change on this one um creates a pulse and that's got a count going through it and that is got a randomized um Amplitude of four here, so it's giving me a random value between one and four, and then I'm just converting that to the minimal amount of range I want. Um, I should should clean that one up a little bit. That one, those controls need to be updated. I'll try to do that before you see this. Um, and this is the same thing, except there is. 
do, 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 do. There's a feedback within the displace. And that's how we're getting this cool thing. And this one's also got some randomized values for when when the scene changes too fast, it'll actually change where the displace is going. Change the the angle and direction. Um, so that's kind of cool. And then this one is similar to the last one, except for it has a bunch of edge filters. So I made a whole different tab for this one for adjusting the edge. Uh, and yeah, we'll see what see what this does. I don't remember. Yeah, so you can play. There's a few different edge values you can play around with those and the color and uh, hue offset for these saturation. Yeah, so this one doesn't show any edge when there's less than 10% of motion. But then when you start adding it in, yeah, then you kind of get that edge effect too. And then I think the amount of feedback to places like controls the displace of those lines. So yeah, I mean, it's nothing crazy. There's so many more things you could do with this. I've got other ideas. I just got to find a moment to get into the experimenting again. And um, yeah. So I'll leave a link to my Discord. You'll be able to either just drop this in and pull up exactly what I've got here, um, or download these individually. And as I make them. So yeah, I've got a bunch of other stuff planned, a bunch of things that I use that I've just got to clean up a little bit to be ready for it to be useful, you know, for you and others. And we'll be doing some learning and live experimenting. So. It's more than just giving away touch designer stuff. Uh, yeah, hope to get, do more of these. I got three jobs right now, almost down to two, and then, then I can dive into the backlog of stuff I wanna do. So yeah, I will see you soon.